What are you all hassling for? It's a beautiful day. Hmm? All right, so making a 30 foot long laminated beam, I find is not easy because it's, it's, it's freaking 30 foot long. So I understand why it's so hard to build. So what I'm gonna do is use the pole barn. I've already have marks here that are level all the way down. So these are my starting points. This is, these were shot with a laser level. So what I'm gonna do is transpose these marks all the way around to the other side. And then I'm gonna make it a nice comfortable work height and measure down and put brackets out and then we'll build the 30 foot beam on the brackets. I don't know if it'll work or not. We're gonna give it a shot. We'll need four, four of these beams will equal 30 foot. The span is only 28 foot, but I want a little, I want at least a foot overhang on both sides of the sawmill barn. So Gizmo's ready to go home. We ain't been here 10 minutes. He's got his chicken strips, he's ready to go home. So he he don't like the old crane truck, he's too loud, but he is ready to go home enough that he was ready to get in the crane truck. So it just come to me that I had this old framing square here that I could use to make my marks. And I, that way I know everything and be exactly the same. I think we're gonna spend more time setting up to build the truss than it's actually gonna to take to build the truss. It makes sense? What? You wanna go get him some water? You want some water? I'll go get you some water, buddy. I'll tell you, we'd get a lot more work done if he wouldn't be so needy. You just wanna set the truck? Let's get you some water first. Huh? Let's get you some water first. Move back. You're not yet getting in the truck. You're not getting in there. Come here. Wait a minute. It's pretty spoiled when you drink right out of the bottle. Alright, that's getting my water. I'm not leaking, I'm not drinking out of that bottle. So in my last video, I asked for some help in designing a uh, beam, a laminated beam that's gonna go 28, over 28 foot span over the sawmill. And I got a lot of great ideas and I really appreciate all the input, but due to my poor planning and just lack of foresight, I didn't give you all the information. So I got a lot of, uh, I got a lot of comments like, hey, don't, don't build the beam, use a, uh, you know, use a uh, uh, steel truss, or hey, you know, go put OSB in the middle of it, or hey, get some steel and put in the middle of it. So honestly, what we're trying to do is build that beam on the cheap. And the reason being is, is that the building's only gonna stay there maybe a year and a half at most, because we're building over here and we kind of got a general layout of where everything's gonna go. And the sawmill is in a temporary location, which is most likely, where the chicken house is gonna be in the future. So the chicken house will be a permanent structure, probably concrete floors and the whole nine yards. So that's that's the whole story. And that's the reason I'm trying to just to build it out of what I have. All right, so we've got just some screws. Somebody's already got our brackets out. So here's our plan for today. This is what, this is my master plan. I'm using the, the six by sixes on the pole barn as a workstation. And this is a, obviously is a temporary workstation. So what I'm gonna do is take the 
these uh, hangers and set them up here and then build the beam down through there. Because I didn't realize it until I tried to build the beam last time. A 30 foot beam, that's hard to work with and it's heavy. So I'm gonna have to build it up here and then move it back with a tractor and then take the crane truck and throw it up on the, throw it up on top. Well, lift it up on top. Just, she said throw it up on top. It's figure of speech. I did notice though that one of these were bent from the factory. It's not really gonna matter. Should be, this is temporary obviously, so we're not going to put a whole bunch of screws in there. So I had a good, a good post from Mike Watson. And Mike, I appreciate you uh, uh, giving me that information. So basically what Mike was saying was, is because we're going to make this out of a two by, you know, a two by eight, uh, they're really true eight inches deep and they're six quarters wide. He suggested that we put a positive crown in, in, the, uh, in the build. So that way when we, he said about two inch positive crown, and that way when we uh, set the weight down, it's gonna, it's gonna, level out and then also on the ends we'll put cross braces left and right and that will essentially decrease the span because it's going to take the weight and push it out like this. So we were, we were already going to do the, the cross braces but I really like the idea of a positive cam. So what I'm going to do on this post here is I'm going to come up one inch, make a mark one inch up on both of these posts and then the end posts are going to be, uh, the end posts are going to be here. Uh, on this mark and so basically it's gonna have a positive crown to the center here we're, we're gonna try it, it worst case it, it, it won't work but I think it's going to so we're just gonna measure up one inch and I think at one inch as the it goes out it's gonna be more like one inch two two and a half inches out here He keeps going to get in the truck and he gets back out of the truck. I think he's afraid he's gonna get left. I'm not impressed with these screws at all. The heads of them are bad. This is a good bit, I've used them on a bunch of them. Different, different times. So I went and got one of the black bits. I think that's from DeWalt. Seems to hold the screws better. Those other ones are Makita's. Well, I guess the Makita's are not as good as I thought they were. I've only screwed four screws with them. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is take the tractor and set these boards out of the way. This is just scrap that we'll use for supports or whatever. It's actually good poplar, nothing wrong with it. It was already, it was just warped when it come off the soft the sawmill. So we'll take this and get this out of the way. I'm leaving you. Yep, you better get in the truck, I'm leaving. Nope, I'm just kidding, I'm not leaving. I went down the road real fast the other day with mud on my tires, got mud all on my tractor. Tear it by and wash it on the way home. Need to wash that rotary cutter anyway. It's been sitting in the woods for a month. What happened, buddy?
All right, so it, it doesn't look like a lot because it's cut up in board form, but that is a lot of weight because that is six quarters by true eight inch board. So an inch and a half by true eight inch boards that are still fairly green. Uh, so they're really heavy. So I can feel it on the tractor. 